Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth from Visit Edo. It's Saturday already, I just want to wish everyone happy weekend. Today I just want to show you something, you know, food is part of tourism. Like many countries, food is part of your bit. Because when you travel to different countries, when you get there, you have to look for food, you have to think about nice hotel, nice food and things to see so food is a very important part of it today i'm going to show you norwegian crab since i live in norway and uh, uh, um, seafood is a very big part of norwegian food so today i'm showing you norwegian crab which some can be really really big so i haven't seen any crab like this in nigeria before but i have eaten crab meat in nigeria but i haven't uh, cr uh, crab meat yes or fish i don't know <laughs> so it's fish seafood is fish <laughs> anyway but people say crab meats all so i'm going to show you this one it's really big um I haven't seen this type before because it's really big. So every summer, this is what we really eat. Weekend food and all. It's really good when you have a, a crab like this and you have a wine. I prefer white wine anyway. White wine and everything you can uh, enjoy yourself with. So I'm going to show you one of these. Uh, I'm talking about this because food is a very important part of tourism. So food can make many people motivate themselves to go to different countries just because they want to test the kind of food that they have. Maybe they have seen it online on film or something like that and they are really wanting to test something like that. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to enjoy my weekend with. Uh, when you're holding this crab, it's really, really like you have to protect yourself. You have to be careful. If not, you haven't done, be, uh, done it before, then you have to really be careful because they are just alive and they can easily just take your finger or just take your hands like that. So you have to be really, really careful. So I'm going to try to raise one now. Like you can see, this is crab. You see that place that is no go area because that can really pin your fingers down so this one is really really big so just think about this this one is big so this is one of many really really big and just imagine this it's feed up with food after boiling what we normally do here every weekend you take this one uh cook water and salt and you put it inside for about 40 minutes or 45 minutes depend you just have to look at uh, look at the time or check online for the cooking time and then it's ready you take it out and it's ready to eat <laughs> really really feed up with you know it's been inside salt water for so many years or for years it tastes really really good with that salt and everything and now you're boiling it with another salt water so it's really really good for me i like it with bread and you put cream and all uh, mayonnaise on top which is really good uh, so that's almost uh, the way that a lot of people eat it yeah crab bread and other things that you want to have so this is one of norwegian crab and it's really really big like you can see if you have seen such as big as this in nigeria please don't send me the picture i would love to see it because this is what is called seafood <laughs> so it's really really nice like you can see i will have to show you so many somebody's helping me to carry the camera uh turn it here so that you can show like you can see these are different sizes you can also get small ones this one also is a little bit big too so this one i have to be careful you have to say so these are really big and the legs are sweet and everything so it's really really good and you just uh, boil it and and it's ready it doesn't really take much work that is one good thing about it you don't need to cut you don't need to do much so before you know it's ready so thank you for watching don't forget to send me your picture if you have any crab as big as this that i would love to see food is part of tourism so enjoy your weekend bye for now